Former GB News star Esther McVeigh came out with fighting talk today with a piece in the Daily Mail setting out her priorities for setting the country back on a path of prudence and pragmatism. Esther declares a war on woke, particularly on public sector waste and absurdly foolish employment practices. Taxpayer value for money is essential. And with so much taxpayer cash, that's your cash, ladies and gentlemen, being wasted on vacuous and self-righteous roles such as diversity officers, we need something to be done to stop this happening. Interestingly, according to a Freedom of Information request from the Taxpayers' Alliance, last year the NHS, the National Health Service in England, turned out to employ 800 diversity and inclusion officers, costing a total of £40 million per annum. Many of these people are paid more than nurses, who I think most of you would think are a bit more useful. Ms McVeigh also slams bizarre employment practices within the public sector which waste your cash, a particularly egregious scandal during a period of record inflation and a cost of living crisis. One example that may irritate as much as um, amuse you is that some local councils who have found their staff don't go into work are paying the self-same staff their heating bills so they can carry on not working from home. This is a terrible, wasteful use of taxpayers' money, and this type of inefficiency deserves to be curbed. Public sector workers are public servants, and they need to be allowed to get on with their jobs, not spend all their time and energy in moralistic progressivism, which can, as we discovered with Aviva last week, do you remember that? Aviva don't like white men, so you can only get a job with them if the Grand Fromage, whose name I think is blank, thinks you should be allowed. So it ends up that diversity becomes discrimination in not just the public sector, but can in the private sector too. So the Minister for Common Sense was brought in to make sure that employees can spend their time doing the jobs for which they're paid, not worrying about whose tender sensitivities they may offend, nor complying with ever-emerging newspeak, nor filling a gender or race diversity quota. And this is a great aim for uh, Esther, I wish her success. I want her to succeed. It is fundamentally important. It will lead to a better, more efficient state. But there is a difficulty. And the difficulty is the Equality Act, which creates the public sector equality duty, which has put wokery into legislative form. Before she can really win her battle, this bill will need to be repealed. And that way, taxpayer value 